So guys, Daddy Elon brought us another update. This is the holiday update. It actually comes with a bunch of cool features. If my car had Hardware 3, it would actually come with a bunch of full self-driving preview features where I could see um, cones, stoplights, stop signs, trash cans, markers, HOV lanes, all types of cool stuff, but I don't have Hardware 3 yet installed. So I'll just let you guys test it out and I'll just cry. So there's a bunch of other cool features as well, such as voice commands, phone improvements, camp mode, Tesla theater mode, which adds Twitch um, compatibility. They added Star View Valley, which is a pretty cool video game, backgammon video game, voice keyboard if you don't want to type. There's a really cool um, app called Tracks where you can actually make your own beats and actually practice on the piano a little bit. So I will show you my masterpiece later in the video. If you use a um, USB drive or hard drive, you can save dash cam clips when you honk, which actually is pretty cool because if you are in a potential accident and you honk, it should in theory then save the last bit of clips. So if you ever need to provide that to your insurance company, um, you got it. There's some more driver profile settings that are um, added and some language support. So voice commands are pretty interesting because they're actually not gimmicky because if you're driving, this big screen, yes, like you do get used to it, but I do agree, like you can get a little distracted. Sometimes when I'm driving, I need to adjust the windshield wiper speed just because the automatic wipers aren't perfect yet. You do take your, your hand off the road or your eyes off the road for a little bit. And it is like being weird right now. Set temperature to 69 degrees. Set temperature to 69 degrees. Set temperature to 69 degrees. Well, I promised this was working a few hours ago. What I have noticed is that a lot of people are complaining that the voice function is very buggy right now. So it's either something that needs to be fixed via a software update or the Tesla servers are just being bombarded right now with everyone testing it out. I have no idea. I even toggled my Wi-Fi off on my car just because thinking maybe the connection to my house is a little bit weak. We have like three bars of LTE and it's still not working. Yeah, like my data connection is fine. I'm playing a Netflix video right now. So it's definitely the voice command functions that are jacked up right now. Open glove box. There we go. <laughs> now it works. Let's see if I can show you anything else before this goes off. That temperature to 69 degrees. So now it's set. You have to be very specific with the commands right now. I'm sure they're gonna update that in the future. Um, I would imagine they're going to be logging every single command and see what they can actually implement. Um, another example. Make car colder. So saying that actually lowers it by three degrees. Make car warmer. There you go, warmer. Turn AC off. Okay. Set driver heated seat on. You can see the heated seat turned on. Set driver heated seat on to one. My butt's catching on fire and it's not turning it off. <laughs> so as you can see, like it's very buggy right now. When it works, it's great, but it's either like my connection or Tesla's connection or the voice server. I don't really know right now. Um, let's try a few more if we can. Turn wipers off. Turn wipers off. Turn wipers off. Turn wipers off. Okay, so <laughs> do not rely on the voice commands right now. Um, but uh, this just proves like the thing, cool thing with Tesla, this issue on any other car would probably take a trip to the dealership. Whereas Tesla, they're gonna fix this on their end. They're gonna fix this through a software update. Like it's gonna be fixed. And me making this video just puts the issue out there and gets the issue known. Tons of other people are probably saying it as well, but like, the Tesla community is great because we can share things like this. Like, yeah, it sucks, but like we've kind of learned to get used to bugs. That's just what comes with software being updated all the time. Okay, so the next thing 
if you go into your little toy box, there is tracks, which is a crazy little thing where you can like make your own beats. It looks like you can actually get pretty detailed. I'm not like a music composer. Is that what they call it? I don't know. That sounds very like <laughs> music composer. I'm not Beethoven, but I was playing along on the piano. And if you actually look up um, music on YouTube, like if you search for one finger piano songs, that's kind of what I did. And let me show you how freaking good I am. So see if you can guess this song in the comment section below. If you actually know what song it is I'm playing, that will be a huge compliment to myself. <laughs> because, yeah. Okay, so I got the tutorial on my phone right now. I gotta adjust my piano so I can make sure all the keys I need. Okay, I'm gonna try. Cut me some slack. Like the video or comment if you know what I'm playing. It's a Christmas song. Yes, hit that note. Okay, you get the gist of it. I'm not very good at all. I'm literally just like watching a YouTube video trying to barely keep up, but you can kind of see the, the capabilities. Um, you can also like do some other beats. So like you can And you can just like make a whole board. Like I have no idea how to do this. I don't make music, but you could actually like play piano. Like you can play piano and like record it along. So it's actually pretty cool. I can't wait to see what people make. People can probably make like professional stuff out of this way beyond my means. Oh, and also Stardew um, Valley. So if we go to entertainment, arcade, here are all the games we have now. So we have the originals, and then Cuphead was newer in version 10, Backgammon, and Stardew Valley. I'm not sure if Stardew Valley requires a controller. Oh, I love that. It is touchscreen. Yeah, so it is touchscreen ready. You don't have to use a controller, which is great. I'm definitely going to be playing this like when I start um, going on trips and supercharging a lot. Backgammon. You know what that is. And then Twitch. I don't even have a Twitch account, so I don't know how far I'm going to be able to get. But looks like you can. Watch stuff. I'm kind of afraid. What is this? An ad. I'm not going to make y'all watch an ad in a video that already has ads. Okay, I'm having some issues getting notifications from texting to show up. So it looks like we go here. And also if we do sync on messages. So you have to go to the Bluetooth settings on your phone. And then you have to do show notifications. So that should be good. And then we're going to sync messages, chime on new message. Okay, so we're good there. I'm going to send a, te a text message to myself because I'm lame. So then we got a message right here. We can tap it. Myself says hello. Tap to reply. Hello, myself. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello. Hello. There we go. Myself says hello myself. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the most sad conversation ever. So that's pretty cool. Um, it will actually be fun to play with this like in the real world, not just talking to myself. So I'll I'll see what comes up. I do actually talk to a lot of group messages. Um, and I did know if you go in the release notes, it does mention that 
Um, due to limitations of Bluetooth support from your device, you will not be able to send group messages. So <laughs> I talked to a lot of people on group messages, but in, th I mean, it, w it sucks that that's not there, but in reality, like group messages, I don't know about you, but I have some family group messages that will send hundreds of texts an hour. So I don't really need that. If it's like an emergency and someone's texting me, it's typically like person to person. And there is camp right here. So before we just had on dog and camp. So now we have camp where you can keep this car on as long as you want. You can just chill in here. You can go to sleep. All the USB ports will work correctly. Um, let me just double check. That's all what it says for camp mode. It says your car will now maintain airflow, temperature, interior lighting, as well as play music and power devices when camp mode is enabled. To enable camp mode, tap the fan icon, blah, blah, blah. So actually, um, a lot of people are big in camping in their Teslas. Like they make specific blow up mattresses. Let me turn off the AC. They make specific blow up mattresses where you can actually put down your back seats and then put a mattress that fits in perfectly. And with camp mode, if your battery is, you know, fully charged, you should easily be able to use a very small percentage of it overnight. If you're plugged in at a ca campground, even better because then you have like unlimited energy. I might actually want to try that one day. Like, um, I plan on taking a road trip up north to see my family in Virginia, which is about an 800-mile drive. And, well, where I could just do it, you know, going all the way through, it would be interesting to stop somewhere and, like, sleep in the back of my car. Like, you're going to save money on hotel costs. Um, yeah, let me know. Should I do that? Okay, one thing I don't like about using, like, YouTube and the browser is that you do have to type on the keyboard and I don't really like the keyboard. So let's see how the voice to text feature works. So search, the keyboard comes up and now this is new. Jeremy Judkins Tesla videos. Jeremy Judkins Tesla videos. As you can see, the voice commands all suck no matter what you're controlling right now. <laughs> It ain't working, so it's easier just to type that right now. You can see all my videos and watch them all. Oh, guys, and also, too, I do want to um, address this. In my last video, I mentioned that my Tesla um, was outdated. I was having FOMO because I didn't have Hardware 3, and I would be missing the um, full self-driving preview. And yes, I am missing a lot of the features, and I did put in a, a service request to get Hardware 3 installed. Everybody's telling me that's stupid because Tesla's just going to contact you when it's ready. I did get a message back from the service department canceling my request and stating that I'll be contacted, and they suggested that I put in another request at the end of February. The only good thing is, um, like I mentioned, this full self-driving preview that was put on this update that I don't have is literally just showing the like different signs. I'm not getting like, I'm not missing actual functionality. It would be cool to see. And I think right now all it's doing is the cars with hardware three are training the neural net to then work better. So hopefully by the time I get my hardware three, there isn't actually full self-driving features out that I'm missing. Cross your fingers. Um, but it'll be cool to document my experience along the way. And then also react to the new features all at once. Because I'm sure if I had Hardware 3 now, there's going to be some maybe updates along the way. Whereas when I get Hardware 3, I'm going to be super overwhelmed with all kinds of cool stuff. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to put two more Tesla videos for you to watch right there. Go ahead and watch those and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.